Anyway. Uh, what's this? Uh, AI is important to Gen Z and Gen Alpha gamers. Yeah. All you Zoomers out there, you're the reason why games suck now. <laughs> Developing artificial intelligence for use in video games is important to Gen Z and Gen Alpha gamers who seek personalized, personalization across everything. According to a PlayStation executive, the most in-touch people with the use, corporate executives. <laughs> in an interview with parent company Sony, head of PlayStation Productions and head of product at PlayStation Studios, Asad uh, Quizzlebash. Uh, <laughs> what the that's that's how I'm pronouncing it. Um, so that's how that's how yeah. it's written. Uh, weighed in on the controversial topic of AI within video games, he noted uh, its development would allow for more personalized experiences in games, which is particularly of importance to Gen Z, uh, those born from 1997 to 2011, and Gen Alpha, those born from 2010 to 2024. Uh, advancements in AI will create. Uh, Advances in AI will create more personalized experiences for meaningful stories for consumers, uh, Quizzle Bash said. Uh, for instance, non-player characters in games would uh, could interact with players based on their actions, making it feel more personal. Uh, this is important for the younger Gen Z and Gen Alpha audiences who are the first generation that grew up digitally and are looking for personalization across everything, uh, as, as well as looking for experiences to have more meaning. Video games have, an endur have endured a particularly complicated relationship with AI since its reemergence in the past couple of years, and the debate will likely only grow larger and more complex in the coming years as companies like Sony look to uh, look even further ahead. Embark Studios, the, the developer behind the Smash shooter, The Finals, uh, was criticized for using AI voiceovers by a myriad of actors and even other developers, for example. But Embark told IGN, making games without actors isn't an end goal and claimed it used a mix of both recorded audio voices and audio generated via AI text-to-speech tools for its games. Video game voice actors have also been called out. Uh, have also called out AI-generated explosive Skyrim mods and Assassin's Creed Syndicate's voice actress, Victoria Atkin, called AI-generated mods the invisible enemy we're fighting right now uh, after discovering her voice was used uh, by cloning software. Paul Eiding, the voice actor behind Colonel Campbell and Metal Gear Solid series, also condemned its use. That's interesting because he's literally an AI. He played an AI, he in, played an AI. too, yeah. So this is weird because uh first of all uh we used to call npcs in games ai like like yeah, the, when you're the, fighting against the, the pro the program yeah the, the line of code that controlled what the npcs did was called ai yeah we yeah. would be like 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 during like the X xbox 360 era we'd be like oh the ai is bad like what they the way they react to us yeah uh is good or bad yeah. in different games enemy ai can adapt to how you're attacking them or enemy ai is bad because it it just runs into a wall and stuff yeah. you know i just we're in a it's really interesting right now to see all of this because it's definitely just a buzzword yeah because 100%. it's existed before in, in turn like a we, lot of we these, talk about it like how they react to you in games a lot of tech companies are just taking like things that already exist and rebranding it as ai yeah and you know? and it's it sucks because there's a lot of people who hear ai and they're immediately averse to it i'm immediately averse to it yeah because but, i know of like all the bad stigma that comes with ai there there is definitely people doing bad shit with ai right yeah. now but people are also just calling things ai that just aren't yeah <laughs> so like it's not like everything ai is bad it's just sometimes uh, uh they just call things ai that aren't ai yeah. it's just a buzzword that people are using to to because they think it's the next new thing. It's it's just like NFTs. Yeah. It's the it's uh, very 100%, similar. 100%. Yeah. Now all those NFT bros are doing AI shit yeah. because they're trying to get uh, money for people who don't know any better. Yeah. So invest in my company. Yeah. Facebook pitted, uh, pivoted from the metaverse to AI. And, you know, that's your clearest example of it. It's a little disappointing because there's all that new stuff coming out with the ARM uh, processors the, yeah. the windows arm processors and they're all being pitched along with microsoft copilot which is their ai yeah. and stuff and it's like i'm interested in the arm processor shit mm -hmm. i don't care at all about yeah. the the 
the AI stuff. Well, even now the new MacBooks, the M4 processor that they just announced, like they specifically said it was like created for AI accelerate. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I have yet to see any Apple AI anything. Like, yeah. like they, Siri is still pretty terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, again, there's a lot of things that people are saying that are AI that aren't like, I was watching uh uh what's his name uh Coffeezilla had a video on the little rabbit, rabbit AI yeah, thing, yeah. and he said that um when you ask it to play a song it will just play the Beatles yeah it doesn't randomly select the song it just plays the Beatles and they discovered that there's a line of code that says if play song equals Beatles yeah so that's not an AI yeah, trying that's to not figure AI. out that's that's a script that's yeah. like a, a code script I've said this yeah. before on the show but somebody I was talking to somebody about how I have this podcast set up and they said oh you use AI to to, to switch the cameras yeah it's an if statement that says yeah. if this mic on go to this camera yeah and that's not ai that's yeah. just a script um ai in my definition ai needs to learn and adapt yeah. and change based on uh input that you give it mm -hmm. and uh this is just a dumb this is a dumb script yeah. it's just a dumb switching script so in terms of video games I think if you asked, like, you know, me, little old me playing Xbox 360 games, mm -hmm. if you asked what I think the evolution of artificial intelligence is, I would say that in a game, you would be able to say whatever you want to a, to an NPC and they would be, be able to respond based on what you said. Yeah. And that is, I think, what they're trying to do with AI, like with the finals yeah. and stuff. But you have uh, the uh, SAG unions writing new uh stuff for ai actors right and they just need to follow that yeah. there's guidelines in place well i follow, think because that's gonna be the future well i think what quizzle bash was getting at was less about like on the actor side and more about on like the tech side like using more advanced artificial intelligence programs to control the not only the npcs but like of mm -hmm. uh, how like the like in a game like Battle a Battlefield, or like the destruction that happens all around yeah. you, like things you do to the world, like have lasting impact and stuff. But I I understand like where like actors and like writers can get scared because it starts off with using AI for that, and then you yeah. use AI for you know the actors and you use AI to generate the story, and you use AI for you know slowly and slowly it takes over more and more roles. Yeah, so it winds up being just the dude hitting a button that generates a whole game. Yeah, there needs to be sorts of regulations around it. Yeah. But but what this screams to me is that this is just the uh, this this the suit the suit guy just doing marketing and saying yeah. they like AI. We're gonna put a we're gonna say everything's AI. A lot of companies now, in order to get investment, uh, they've they've said like if you don't have AI in your pitch, don't bother pitching. Yeah, yeah, because otherwise you won't get investment. Yeah, but. You know, another thing I want to point out, he specifically says like Gen Z and Gen Alpha want personalized experience in their game. So it's their yeah. fault. It's always the young people. It's their fault. They ruin everything. Gen Z and Gen Alpha play Roblox and Fortnite yeah. and like online multiplayer game, Minecraft. Those are not games that need advanced AI well, <laughs> to really do a whole lot. You know, those are just games that like have a lot of pre-made options yeah. for you to, you know, see and pick and like customized with it to your heart's content i also just don't believe this like study like they could they could have just loaded the question yeah like like, yeah, I'm, it's, like a, it's a sony published interview interviewing somebody who works at sony yeah yeah like i'm interested in games mm -hmm. <laughs> i, I want to hear about whatever you're doing with the yeah. game um one thing that i've been thinking about with uh these new generations of kids like we like our parents don't know how to Google something. No, no, they need us to just Google the question for them. Yeah. That that's a uh, prompt generation or whatever you call yeah. it. Uh, us going into Google and typing the question for them and being yeah. able to to sort through the results and get something usable out of it. Um, that's because we grew up with Google and we saw how AOL keywords worked and then yeah. how that translated into Google searching stuff and and how to navigate those results uh kids these days <laughs> miss that and they're not as good as google search and stuff yeah. so that's where i think ai would be really useful to them because 
if it works correctly the way it's supposed to, you could just talk to it like you would a person. Right. So like our mother, instead of asking us where their Facebook password is, they can just ask the AI, mm -hmm. what's my Facebook password? And then hopefully it would just spit it back out at them. But by the same token, you know, Google has ruined their search with oh, their use of AI. Absolutely. That yes. is that is how it's not supposed to be yes. done. But there's there's fragments of the right idea there. It was right. it it just did not land. But they're, you know, go, like it's been a problem for a while. Like people have said, like Google sucks. Mm -hmm. Like their search results are bad. They're like promoting like the the worst websites mm -hmm. when not giving you the information you actually want to the point where people will type in uh Reddit at the end of their search to get like an actual human answer. And now that they're introducing that AI program to go um uh, sundar Pich what's his name sundar pachai or whatever i don't remember the ceo of google he said it's gonna let the google do the googling for you and then it comes back with like uh how do you make a pizza kill a child that's like the first thing that comes up yeah because it scraped reddit and yeah. doesn't know sarcasm <laughs> yeah there's a lot of people being funny on reddit yeah um but you remember when google first started just giving you the answer at the top like you would ask, like, when did Call of Duty come out? And it would yeah. give you the answer at the top instead of you having to click yeah. the Wikipedia page. It used to be wrong all the time with that. Yeah. It used to be used to type in like freaking uh, a celebrity's name and it would tell you they're dead when yeah. they're not. Uh, and then it eventually fixed themselves. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the way AI works is that you need to teach it, and the only way to do that is they have to just fucking let every. It has to fail so much in yeah. order for it to get right. But there's an example of that not working. Uh, you remember the Amazon stores? Did yeah. we talk about that on this show? I don't think so. The Amazon stores where you walk into and there's no cashiers yeah. or anything. Um, that, uh, I thought it was all cameras that just track you. Yeah. It's all people offshore yeah. that are just watching you. Yeah, that's another thing too. Most of these AI programs are still run by yeah. people watching everything and like trying to fix it on the back end. Yeah, so in the case of the Amazon stores, I think the way it was supposed to work was uh, the people were training the ai on what's happening right. so it was like 10 percent ai but like 90 percent real people mm -hmm. and the idea was to do that for a long period of time and then eventually the ai will take over and eventually be 20 percent ai then eventually be 30 percent ai mm -hmm. and so on and so forth and until eventually the whole thing's ai it failed and now they're closing all those stores because yeah. they couldn't teach the ai so also I bought a cookie and it was $5. It was this big. <laughs> so that might be why they're fair. Yeah. But I see a future where AI works. Unfortunately, the more that I use AI features, the worse it seems to become. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I'll use something and I'm like, that's fucking crazy. Most of the time I'll use something and I'll be like, that didn't get, that's yeah. not the result that I want. Yeah, no, it, it's not ready yet. And like, yeah. it's not going to be ready for a long time. And you can't run up you can't base your entire business on something that doesn't work yeah you know That's yeah it's just, it's really a crapshoot yeah. whether or not it's gonna work but i mean that just has to be the future in a video game like i want to be able to talk to an npc and get whatever result yeah, that i want sure, i want to be I'm i want sure, to be like, like a siri down the road like the, the more advanced like traditional computer programming yeah. gets like non-playable characters are going to be much more interactive and like more responsive to like what you do but you know it's got to be iterative on like things that like the mass effect games do and the quantic dream games do and like you know the old telltale games do like that model just more and more advanced not you know whatever you know latest bud buzzword technology is available right now but also i think that uh the way you you interact with the computer is gonna change because yeah. there is a learning curve to using a uh, mouse and keyboard. Like mm -hmm. we all took like a little computer class back yeah. in the day. Uh, eventually you'll just be able to talk to it like a human. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately doing that right now is kind of a horrible experience. Yeah.